And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 campaign, just all Peacekeeper related. So, as I have said in previous stream, previous videos, I don't know why I said stream, uh, side story questing, I'll do those like off camera if it means it's going to get me a decent amount of money. Uh, regarding electrical stations, I'll turn them on one by one off camera because they're a pain in the butt by themselves. Going to dark zones unless I absolutely need to. This is just more of me beelining through this storyline just to see what the Peacekeeper's storyline is like. And then we just sit there and wait until November 10th comes out and wait for the DLC to be released. That's pretty much the goal here. So I'm just working my way through the campaign very quickly here. Uh, afraid to go in this area. Look, oh, you need a grappling hook. And it's level 5. I'm only a level 3 and a level 4 area. Oh! It's terrifying. I still gotta go over here and turn this one on. And... I still got tons of shit to do. I even have to come back over here and turn these on. I have to do that at some point. I'm waiting till I get like level four, maybe five. <laughs> uh, anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe button. Let's get into playing some more Dying Light 2. What the hell is Supply doing? Delivering lamps ain't a difficult job. You there yet? Uh, not yet. I've reached the building, but... How did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. When you get there, stand on it, jump, 
and open your paraglider. Easy. Sounds sketchy. Name the last non-sketchy thing you've done running around this town. Touche. Luan? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. Juan, I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay. I'll go there. And listen. That vodka? Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
like a pile of ground beef. What did that? Now, does it hurt? Leave me alone. You've got to trust us. We want to help. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. Don't let now, the selection dazzle you too much. Sure. Glad you stopped to see me. Snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the Renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. 
And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Well, you know where to go. Did here, machines did. Always a good choice, just had to program them. Hope I see you back here real soon. <laughs> Anyone there?
Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. 
Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade, and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on. Let's get you to a doctor. Thanks, man. Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden? Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional, and you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area, worse since the renegades overran them. You must find them quickly. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Classmen, teachers, gardeners, not fighters. Yes. And what's happening between Renegade and the Shit. What's going on? Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Walter are brewing. Why now? <laughs> Found your men, um, some of them at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Aiden? You sure? 
How many? Two bodies, both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. Totally berserk. It's crazy, I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy. You guys all right? Me, yeah. Sebastian, not so much. I'm sure I'll be fine, but I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hid them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. Well, I think it's time to be a spider monkey, huh? <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, no. We're going to the level f 6 area and we're only a level 4. This is terrible. I know, you look at me like, oh, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. We're level 3 in this area. <laughs> Versus level 5 and 6 stuff, yeah. No. <laughs> Anyways, looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button. 
make sure you subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.